evening guys welcome to falls creek flips and what sold sunday uh if you're returning thanks for coming back if this is your first time my name is bowden um, and i'm a part-time reseller here on youtube uh, i sell on ebay depop poshmark facebook marketplace wherever i can um, this youtube is based around sort of documenting my journey from um, full-time employment to um, full-time self-employment and the journey that i'm going along there um, last week i spoke a little bit about diversifying and kind of um, i wanted to expand on that a little bit this week as i show you sort of what i've sold um, because honestly um, i i can understand some people wanting to stick within a certain uh, realm, um, stick within a certain niche, and, you know, that's understandable. Um, you know, you, you've got to do what works for you. Um, but, like, for where I live, I guess, and it might be partially where I live, that I, I have a smaller number of op shops around me. They're further afield, the lower socioeconomic factor around the area. All those sorts of things sort of play into the factor that... Um, if I was to try and stick to one or two things, I'd be very limited in what I can pick up and what I'd be selling. So I'll take you through what we've sold this this uh, these last couple of days, um, and then I'll talk through, you know, sort of where I'm at in regards to why I'm saying these sorts of things. So um, this is what we have sold, guys. I'll start over here. Anyone who's been watching the show, uh, the channel for long enough will know that this is a bugbear of mine. Uh, I copped a couple of Vero's for the HP inks because I was uh, I had them available to, to sell to the UK. I changed that up and I still got Vero's for all the ones I changed up because they used to be. But I left the ones that were there on and now this has sold. It was only for Australia um, and it has sold, which is awesome. Brand new, still sealed. There's the hologram. Still sealed, so yeah, pretty cool. Glad that that's finally moved. We then have a couple pieces of clothing. The first one here is just a basic Under Armour um, women's uh, top. It is an extra, extra large, which is why I grabbed it, and it was really cheap. I think it was like $2 or something like that. Pretty crazy um, when I went on holidays down to Naruma, I think. Um, but yeah, just the based on the size, the extra, extra large is why I picked that up. I thought it would probably be a pretty pretty good winner. Uh, we then have the women's uh, Sydney Roosters jersey. So you see that's a size 14, uh, which tells me that's a women's. Um, no print on the back. But really, really good, clean, high-quality jersey. So that sold well. Uh, we then move on to here. This we also bought when we were on our Naruma trip. Um, had to do a bit of investigating on this one. Found it is a 1960s um, Victorian-style rotary phone. Um, I did note in the listing that this is sold as is, um, untested, cannot confirm it's working, um, is for display purposes only. Um, but it has sold for $120. I paid 10 bucks for this. I took a gamble on it because it looked really cool. It was all metal. It wasn't plastic. So it wasn't like, oh, this is a, you know, cheap Chinese copy. I was like, this is all etched metal all along here, all around here. It's got the very cool, you know, like, uh, up and down motion on the stand here. It's got the cup mouthpiece. Just really, really cool piece. And like like I say, etched all around. Really, really cool. Really nice piece. So that sold this week for $120. Um, so I've made essentially about 70 once after postage fees a cost of goods. I've made about 70 bucks. Now, if I hadn't have picked that up because I'm like, oh, no, I don't, I don't deal with antiques. I don't deal with, you know, odds and ends. I'd be down $70. Same with the, the ink. That sold for 75 bucks. I think I paid like five bucks for it. It'll, it would have been on the screen. I can't remember exactly. It's been so long. But if I was staying in my lane of, you know, games, DVDs and sporting stuff, I'd be down another $70 of sales there. So that's almost $200 in sales I'd be down for this week. Um, next up, let's look at some hats. This is a really nice Golden State Warriors hat. Mitchell and Ness. Um, hardwood classics in there that's what you want to look for but really really cool really nice um hat and golden state are traveling really really well this year so that's why i think that's moved uh we then have the guinness harp um i actually got this for free this was given to me when i purchased something on poshmark so really nice piece that i got in the pack i don't know why but they just sent it to me and said i hope you like this here's something extra and yeah really cool so super happy about that 
And then this is one of the ones I've had for a long time, Jarvis Walker trucker hat. Uh, I was surprised it took so long to sell, um, but it sold for 15 bucks. So, you know, it's a nice little hat. It sold for 15 bucks. I've made a couple dollars. Uh, we then have the vintage um, 1986 um, Dakin. Uh, what's his name? Garfield, 1986? I think it's 1986. His tag has been ripped off, but all the other ones that I bought at the garage sale a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen, uh, were of the same era. So, yeah, sold him. Again, another thing that, like, that's not sporting. That's nothing of what I normally would say I do in regards to, like, sporting attire, games, pop culture. Um, a little bit pop culture, but, you know. Um, but, again, another $30. Uh, we then have the Eeyore Disney best buddies mug that's a really big good quality size mug with e all written on the side uh, that has sold We've got a couple of games here this is a nintendo game boy uh, uh pokemon gold version i do believe it is original i don't have any way to confirm because i don't have the little uh hex screw piece there oh i might actually have the hex screw piece i'll have to have a double check if i've got that now i did buy a piece so i can do some pulling apart of electronic gear so i might actually have that but yeah um I've sold that as is, and it has sold nicely. I uh, listed that one up a couple days ago, and it sold very quickly. Um, 50 Cent Bulletproof. We all remember that game. That was good fun. And Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Again, nothing really crazy, nothing outstanding. Same with the, the movies, nothing crazy. Um, only one I want to point out is Wild Boys. Shout out to um, Uncle Wayno. Um, he was my secret Santa this year in our reseller Christmas... Uh, santa present exchange um and this is one of the things he gave me he said if i didn't want to keep it um i was more than welcome to sell it so most of it i kept he got me a really cool hat um a formula one shirt and a couple other bits and pieces but wild boys i was happy to sell i knew at the moment it was going to be pretty hot due to the fact that jackass is coming out then the last thing we sold are a pair of shoes new balance 574s these are in almost brand new condition like absolutely no wear you can see on the base there like there is no color differentiation on that cream on the inside um, the only thing is that it looks like there's a bit of pressure on the toes but i think that's just through um, just the style of shoe the suede along the edges looks so clean so really really nice shoe and very happy that i found that when i did um, so yeah you can see guys there out of all of that like that was 80 bucks all these were like sort of ten dollars a piece except for you know those two um, 30 bucks for a mug, 30, 40 dollars there, 120 there, and then another 70 bucks there. If I didn't have that, this week would have been absolute crap. Honestly, it would have been absolute crap. Um, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere near um, the budget amount that I wanted to get, um, and I only just scraped through as it is. Um, so yeah, it's really important that you do what works for you, I guess, is really what I want to say, guys. Because it's so easy for you to listen to me or to another YouTuber or to anyone and go, I'm going to do exactly what they do. And that's not how it works. What we do here and what I've taken from everyone else is learn what you can from us, grab what works for you, and then find out how you can step through this. And that's, that's why I'm documenting what I'm doing, because not everything works. Not every week is great. Not everything sells. Um, you know, I've got in my, in my room here... Um, I've got stuff in here that has been in like these clothing tubs since the first week I started selling. I've got games still on the shelf from the first week, so from over a year ago. I've got some shoes over here that have been up there for forever. Um, you know, I really thought some of those Olakai shoes up the top there would have sold already. I thought they would have moved, 100%. If you had have asked me, are they going to sell really quickly? Are they going to have a fast sell-through rate? I would have said brand new, in a box, 100%. But they're still up there, and that's okay. Um... It's just how it is, um, and you've got to take the, the hits as they come and the wins when they come, um, but it's always important not to just try and replicate someone else. Understand what they're doing, but understand what works for you and, and play that out, and that's why um, it's important not to just you know, listen to one person and follow that exactly. That's why, you know, I listen to so many different um, podcasts during the week. I watch YouTube while I'm listing and I'll be watching it while I'm packing here because it's so important to hear multiple voices. Um, 
And in today's society, we get very stuck in our own lane and our own echo chamber. Um, and it's so important to hear other voices and hear other directions, not to, to lean a different way, but to understand where people are coming from. Um, they may be completely wrong with their direction in their political spectrum or their view on finance or business or whatever. That's fine. But it's important to understand why and where some people are coming from sometimes because it can help us to better ourselves to understand why we might be making decisions that we are um, and and help us to grow so i hope that's been helpful guys i hope that explains a little bit as to why i've i've been picking up what i have um super excited because tomorrow is monday it's super bowl monday um so it will already happen but greg um, my mate and i we're heading up to the highlands to smack through a bunch of op shops so you'll be coming along for the ride you'll actually be seeing that video because it'll probably come out on wednesday um, just gone past before you see this video so hopefully we found some real goodies um i'm just giving greg a bit of a, a stretch of his legs to see how he goes he hasn't hit up a lot of op shops and he's really trying to get an understanding of this um so yeah hopefully you guys are having a great week um stay tuned because we're going to go through the figures in a second but guys thank you so much um really appreciate you and remember, just keep flipping. Okay, guys. So, figures for the week. Um, total sold is $646.28. Uh, cost of goods is $85.50. Um, so, we only actually have one item that is um, a consignment item there, and that was the Black Hole Complete Edition. The other two items were the two freebies. One was Wild Boys, uh, and the other one was um, the Guinness Golden Harp hat everything else we paid money for so it's good that we can balance up what we've sold as purchase price because um yeah it's nice to see uh shipping costs then we have a shipping and listing fees of 217 dollars and 94 cents which gives us a uh, net return of 342 and 84 cents um the other thing i want to start giving you guys and i'm just going to pull it up now is actually uh, the ASP. So this week we had an ASP, so average sale price of $38.02, which is an excellent figure to have. Um, now, don't just look at the ASP. Um, don't just look at shipping costs, listing fees. You've got to look at everything in whole. And there I look at like, what was my purchase price average? Um, so I go and I can, I can look at uh, what's my purchase price average. It's uh, that's completely wrong what that has just told me there, but that's okay. I'll just re average that out. So my purchase price average is five dollars and three cents. Um, so straight up, I can go okay. So before shipping and fees, um, I'm making about thirty two dollars per item, which is a great outcome. Um, and then obviously you put in shipping fees. Um, average shipping fees for the week was seven dollars and twenty four cents, and my average listing fees was. Not ninety four ninety four. That that was just an ad of them, Bowden. Just click the right button. There we go. So five dollars and fifty eight. So seventeen dollars all up. About about seventeen eighteen dollars. So about twenty dollars per item. I'm having return there, which is a huge amount. About twenty dollars return per item. Um, that's that's a really good result, and I'm super happy with it. Um, and that's what I'm trying to figure out is that balance of you know it's it's great to have a high ASP, but if I'm selling something for forty dollars, but I'm buying it for twenty-five, it's not really that great. I want to be aiming for things that I'm buying between the five and ten range and selling for forty dollars. Or I'm happy to spend fifty dollars if I'm going to get something that sells for one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars. So it it really is that balance of that you want to see what your your actual return, your percentage of return is not just your ASP. It's that percentage of return that, that is really, really important and really, really um, necessary to determine is something worth picking up, you know? Because, like I say, you, you can sell a 1,000 things at $40 if they only cost you $35, $30, and it might sound great, but you're not making a lot of return. It really does come down to that return. So, um Hope that helps you guys. Hope those figures give you a bit of an understanding as to where we've been. Um, but remember, guys, have a great week. Stay safe, stay positive, and we'll see you next time.